Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. In this video, we're going to be problem solving real life application questions using the Pythagorean theorem. Coming up. In a right angle triangle with hypotenuse C and legs A and B, we have the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I really do encourage you to go watch part one so you get a better understanding of Pythagoras' theorem and then we can move on to real life application questions. So let's look at a problem. We have Jason and his sister in the park and they're playing on the seesaw and what we want to find out is how high does a child on the seesaw go? We know that we've got 7.8 meters across and that the seesaw is 8 meters long. What we need to find out is the height of the seesaw. We can set this up because we know that we have a right angle triangle. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. And if I label this, I know that opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse. So that's going to be my C. And the other two sides are going to be A and B. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one's A, which one's B, but we can label them A and B. So now if I set up the equation, I can say A squared plus 7.8 squared is equal to 8 squared. And if I tidy that up, a squared plus 60.84 is equal to 64. So if I rearrange that, 64 minus 60.84 would give us 3.16. So therefore, a would equal to the square root of 3.16. So remember, we're only taking the positive square root of 3.16 because a is going to be greater than 0. This is going to be a positive value. So if we find the square root of 3.16, we can therefore say a child goes about 1.78 meters above the ground. So now that you've warmed up and you've got a solid grip on Pythagoras' theorem, let's get our teeth stuck into it. So here's a the problem then. It says... Heather wants to hang a 7 meter long banner from the roof of her shop. The hooks for the strings are 10 meters apart. And Heather wants the top of the banner to hang 1 meter below the roof. The question is, how long should each of the strings be? So I've drawn a diagram of the banner, which is 7 meters long. And the hooks are 10 meters apart. And Heather wants a sign to hang 1 meter from the roof. So what we know from the question is that the banner is 7 meters long. That means that this part here would also be 7 meters, which leaves a little gap here and here. And so I can label that as x and x. And if I set up an equation, I could say 7 plus 2x is equal to 10. So have a look here then. This is 7, this is my x, and there's my x. So 7 plus 2x is equal to 10. Now I need to solve this equation to find out what x is, because if I find out what this x is, then I can set this up as a little right angle triangle to find out what the hypotenuse is. And that would be the length of the string that we need. So let's solve this equation. So 10 minus the 7 would give us 3, so 2x is equal to 3. And then 3 divided by 2 would give us x equals to 1.5. So now that I know what x is, I can set up my little right angle triangle, which will give me x is 1.5 and the height, which is 1 meter. Now remember, I've just taken that information from here. This is my height of 1 meter, and that's the x that I just worked out, which is 1.5. Now remember, opposite my right angle is my hypotenuse, so that's going to be my c, and then the other two legs respectively would be a and b. So now I can substitute these values into the Pythagoras equation, which would give me c squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1.5 squared. That would give me c squared is equal to 1 plus 2.25. And then c would be equal to the square root of 3.25. Remember, c must be positive. We only take the positive square root because the value of the string is going to be positive. It can't be a negative value. So the square root of 3.25 is about 1.8. And therefore, each string should be about 1.8 meters. 
As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.